Hey golfers, Michael Geiger here with Second Swing, once again sitting down with master fitter Larry Bobka. Larry, today we're going back into the fitting world. I am coming in for a fitting. What is the most common mistake or misunderstanding of the golf swing that I, kind of the typical fitting customer, has that you observe? Well, are we talking you or are we talking about the typical customer? The wow. <laughs> you know, it, it, it's one of the things that we see all the time. And, and it's, it seems to really kind of go across all lines. Having taught golf since the early 80s is alignment or aiming. People always think about alignment. They come in here, they come in the bay, they're looking at the, they're looking at the floor. We kind of have lines here with, uh, mm -hmm. with uh, mats. We've got a center line out there and they believe that they try to aim themselves as straight as they possibly can and hit straight golf shots. Well, as we all know, hitting a straight golf shot is like one of the most hardest things to do, okay? Everybody usually has a little bit of movements to their shots. Mm -hmm. It's either a little bit left to right, it's a little bit right to left. Most players that are less accomplished players tend to be a little bit left to right because they tend to not turn as well. They kind of come over the top, leave the face open coming through. Sure. So, but then when they come in the bay here, we really try to get them to think about, hey, if you were playing, if you were gonna hitting a shot down that fairway, you're not gonna aim dead straight. Right. Okay? So, the best players in the world aim. They don't think about alignment. They work on alignment, but when they get on, on the golf course, they're thinking about aiming. Mm -hmm. They're getting their body in a comfortable position, they're getting the club face aimed where they want it, and they're making a golf swing. So what happens here is when you get the people come in, it just kind of, their shots kind of struggle and we don't necessarily get the best results that we can get because they're, they're worried about alignment rather than just worrying about hitting golf shots getting comfortable hitting their golf shot. Right. Um, as you tend to get into better players, better players tend to understand that a little bit more, okay? You know, usually a, a lower handicap player is going to, he's gonna understand that his shots are gonna start a little bit right at center line and they're gonna draw back. I mean, I, I hit balls in for a video last week and I hit a little fade. Mm -hmm everything needs to start a little bit left of the center line and fade back to it. That's my golf shot. The misconception is now all of a sudden I'm going to try to fit you. Well, I don't want that to, ha well, I don't necessarily, I can't necessarily fit that out of your golf swing because if you're bringing the club a little bit over the top, that's going to be your path. Mm -hmm. Because if I fit it to go straight, now it's going to start going straight left. So let, we just can't take you out of your golf shot. We can enhance your golf shot. We can make it go farther. We can give you a chance to be more consistent, but I don't necessarily want to take you away from your natural golf swing when it comes, or your natural shot pattern when it comes to a right. fitting. It sounds like what you're really hoping for the golfer walking in is for them not to try to be hitting it on a rope, not to be doing anything other than they would when they step on the first tee on a, on a Friday or oh. a Saturday, just just be themselves in the, in the fitting booth. Absolutely, correct. I mean, because that's the way you're gonna play. You know, I tell, I, I tell customers all the time, I even tell students that I teach, you know, I can put you in these perfect positions and I can get you hitting it great, but when you go out there on the first tee Saturday morning, what are you gonna do? you're gonna to revert to bet what's natural and what's comfortable for you. Mm -hmm. Changing those patterns, changing your address position, changing your ball flight. I mean, you're talking about, PGA Tour players talk about taking six months to a year to change that. And you're talking about players that are hitting golf balls for a living mm -hmm. and hitting golf balls every day. So trying to make a change in your ball flight, it's kind of hard. I think a big part of it is for a lot of golfers, especially likely the higher handicap, it's probably their first time hitting with a track man, yep. hitting, so they, the way that it sets you up is to pretty much aim dead straight, but what you need to drill into your head when you come in here to help to 
do your get your best get the most out of your fitting is to just play it exactly how you would in real life and feel free to aim left even though it seems kind of counterintuitive that it's aiming you straight but at the end of the day you want to play the same golf you do out there yeah you want to you want to you want to show us the shots that you're hitting then from there we can make a decision what we need to do on the golf club maybe give you a little bit of insight to maybe a better way to hit it or maybe hey you know i'm looking for somebody to go take some lessons from give you a couple pga pros to go see to help you with your golf swing but when it comes to the standpoint of of really getting everything out of the fitting you really want to just come in and just do what you do naturally i mean it's kind of like if you're if you know, I'm going to go back a few years, you know, to Lee Trevino, who hit fades all the time. Yep. I mean, it's like coming in, it's like Lee Trevino coming in here, hitting all these beautiful fades going, well, hey, we're going to fit you in the club and we're going to try to get you to draw everything. He's going to look at you and go, are you crazy? Right. Have you lost your mind? Plus, it's easier, too. It's easier, it's less stressful on the player if they can just do what they naturally do. Right. I mean, I'll give you a real perfect example of somebody walking in yesterday with a little bit of misconception. Came in with an older set of ping irons. They were short and they were too flat for that player. Kept hitting it right, hitting it right, hitting it right. And he's like, man, I, can, I just, you know, I'm working with my instructor and I can't, get the, I can't get the ball to go straight. I can't get the ball to turn over. And I said, well, just wait a second. I grabbed him a golf club that was two degrees upright, a half inch longer, and all of a sudden he hits the first shot, and it actually draws a little bit, and he looks at me and he's like, what did I do there? I just gave you a different golf club. So your golf clubs could be impeding your progress. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's, you've got to come in, you've got to see what's going on, because if you're struggling, why struggle? Everybody wants to shoot lower scores. You want to hit better golf shots. But if you're not evaluating one of the important parts of your golf game, which is your golf clubs, then you know, you're, really, you're really hurting yourself. Definitely. I think golf is hard enough. What totally. you can do is you can come into second swing, and guys like Larry Bobka will make it a bit easier for you. Larry, you ha I outlined kind of a common problem in fittings, that alignment. Luckily, it's fairly easily fixable. And when they come in, we'll get you lined up, and we'll have you playing better golf right away. Larry, thanks again for your time. You're welcome. Cheers.